Hello and welcome to this video on how to create a custom login page for IBM Cognos. This video will show you the steps involved in creating a custom login page for Cognos and how to apply that login page. So I'm going to launch IBM Cognos and by default this is the login page you receive um, to authenticate users into IBM Cognos connection. What happens though if you don't want this, you want a corporate login page, how do we create that? Well this video will take you through the process of creating a custom login page for IBM Cognos. Okay, so let's close this down. First thing we're going to do is create a text file on the desktop and call it my gateway one template.xhtml it needs to have this xhtml extension so save that and close it now this is going to form this file is going to form the basis of our login page so I'm going to open that with notepad paste in my code save it and close it back down the next step is to create an alert HTML page. So again, we'll go to Notepad and save it as on our desktop as alerts.html. Now, what this file is going to do is form the basis of any alerts or announcements that you want to publish on the login page before users log in. So I'm going to add my code to that, save it and close it down. So I've now got the alerts and my gateway one template files and both of these need to be copied and moved to the Cognos installation directory into web content the ps folder and login and we just paste it in there the next step is to edit the system.xml file so again if we navigate back to where Cognos was installed and in the C1064 folder, navigate to templates, and then PS, and if we scroll to the bottom, we should have a system.xml. If we edit that and scroll down, there is a section um, called custom login details. So here, custom login log off configurations. So anything from here down, if we delete out and paste in our new code, and what this is doing is basically pointing to the my template one, my gateway one template which we created earlier. So I will save that and close this down. Once the system.xml file has been edited, if your Cognos services are running, you'll need to stop and restart them. But once the system.xml file has been edited and your services have been restarted, then the new logon page should appear. So this is an extremely basic one where I've just used an image at the top and bottom, our company logo and a bit of text. Um, but you can create very complex and very detailed logon pages for uh, for your company and that have that corporate look and feel that some of our clients look for. Thank you for watching this video on creating custom login pages for IBM Cognos. For more information contact sales at triangleinformationmanagement.com or visit us at triangleinformationmanagement.com.